Hi friends, today we are going to learn about a rotary joint. Usually when you see uh, end effecting robots, they are comprising of prismatic joints and rotary joints. In last video, we learned how to make a linear joint that is prismatic joint. So if you see in last video, we made this joint where if you click the robot, so if you have not seen the last video on linear joint, do watch the video so that you can reach this stage where we are ready with a controller on linear drive. So now for understanding basics of a rotary joint, let's add a rotary joint at this edge of linear joint. So we will have two degree robot where it will be linear and rotary type. So this is all about today's video. So let's start. First of all, let's change the view to front view so that, yeah. So in this case, as we know we how we made the linear joint, now we go to children in slider joint. So now we are making a rotary joint with respect to this blue linear axis. So we need to make that joint inside this slider joint because the axis of that rotation will vary with respect to this linear motion. So in end effector, so this is the solid which is made by uh, this type. So with this solid, we will make an hinge joint as we need a hinge joint here. Inside hinge joint, we will have joint parameters hinge joint. Device, in this case, we'll use rotary motor because we want rotation. And in rotary motor, we can set here maximum velocity, maximum position, minimum position. We will name our rotary motor as RM so that we can use this name in our controller. And in endpoint, we will have a solid. And in this solid in child, children, we will add a shape. So let's have shape of that component. So first of all, we'll set this and we'll have it cylinder. So till now, those of you who are following the videos, you guys must be pro in terms of making new nodes. So making new shape and surface. So we need to change the axis. So we know we need to rotate about blue axis. So we can do it in this way. Yeah, we can rotate this or else we can do one thing is we can have this one 0.57 which is 90 degree in z direction and we can have the translation in this direction so let's make translation correct before that we will edit the shape so that uh, we can have this rotary joint shaping in correct dimensions so in cylinder let's keep our height to be 0.02 and radius to be 0 0.02 again. This is still big, let's make it 0 0.01, yeah. And now we can ha have this translated and stick it here or we can actually tweak the values. So y is equal to zero and yeah, this is perfectly aligned. So now in hinge joint, we will have axis of rotation of this. 
circle in such a way that it rotates about the end of this blue position. So if you think in terms of design, you will have a rotary joint between the cylinder and the shape. We are not actually concerned about how actually this will be made. So we can just assume that there is a correct joint here. We just need to set the parameters. So we went inside hinge joint and in, in joint joint parameters. We will have rotation about y axis. So we will have axis 0, 1, 0. And we will have anchor here. So as we know, the length of our blue component is 0 0.15 meters. So we will have anchor at 0 0.075, which is half of 0 0.15 and y is equal to 1 and z is equal to 0. So we'll set our anchor here. So I think we are done. So I'll revise the things where we first of all made an hinge joint inside the slider joint because we need to have translation of the second joint with respect to slider joint. Then we made joint parameters, we set axis, we set anchor. We went to device, we named it as RM, which is rotational motor, and we added a solid, where we set radius and height. In appearance, we will decrease the metalness to zero, and let's give it a color, so 0 0.5. This is a bit light, 0 0.9 and 0 0.2. Okay. Let's make it of this color. And now, so if you see our slider joint, as children hinge joint and these are the parameters of our hinge joint. So now let's make changes inside the controller. So first of all, we named our motor as MR. So we'll check it once more. So it was in endpoint Oops, slider joint, endpoint, children, hinge joint, in hinge joint device motor RM. So our motor is rotational motor, it is RM. We can have this pointer as any, let's name it small RM, and our motor name is RM. So now our controller code knows that we have a motor attached at this axis. And below, we will control our robot with key A and D. So, inside while loop, we will copy this so that it is easy to make changes. Even we will need this setting the position. Everything is similar in terms of a linear motor and rotary motor. So we have named this as RM. Let's comment this version. So now we know that key A is 65 and key D is 68. Now we will have a variable named rotor And we'll change the variables here. So linear motor will be rotor, control V. Yeah. Oops. So now these values will change. So let's 
have this as positive 90 degrees, it takes it in radians, so 1.57. And let us do increment of 0 0.05 as this is in radians, so 0.05 is okay. And let's make rotation to be greater than minus 1.57 so that it goes from plus 90 to minus 90. You can even do it 360, so it's fine. And if we don't click any key, it will stay at the same position and we set the position to be rotor. So now, if we build this, we have built the controller successfully. So before resetting, again, I need to save this or else my cylinder will be lost. I built it again and reset it. So when I reset and play, I can control my robot by AS and I can control the rotary joint by A and D. So as you can see, it's rotating. Thank you for this video. If you like the video, do share it with your friends. And now we are ready with moving robot, a linear joint and a rotary joint. So any robot, if you see, consists of these three as principal parameters. And now you can go on increasing number of joints and you can make complicated robots. So stay tuned and we will see many more sensor integrations further. If you like the video, do share it and stay tuned. Happy coding. Thank you.